and it wasn't very pretty. But she's recovering and doing well, and, you know, just keep her in your prayers. She's recovering. She's getting older, but God bless her. It's hard to slow her down. Um, yeah. Well, Tom, you know we're all getting older because the, we don't go backwards. We all go forwards. <laughs> Generous God, pour out, out your, your love. love. Are there any others this morning? Then let us pray. Let's be in time of silence. Spirit of life. We lift continued prayers for Kay and Kim and Enid. Spirit of life, in this season of Thanksgiving, it is easy for us to skip ahead to the commercialization of Christmas. And in the aftermath of our election cycle, it's easy for us to fall into hopelessness and cynicism. But bring us back to this moment in which you are alive and active in each of us, in our lives and in our world. Bring us back to this moment in which you are breathing new life into us now. Bring us into this moment and away from the violence and the hate of the world to see your promise for abundant life, your promise of love and your promise of redemption now. Be with us and make your presence known to us in each and every moment as we pray this prayer of hope that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Let us now offer our gifts, our tithes and our offerings for Christ's work here in this uh, church, in this community. Please join with me in our prayer of dedication. May we and these gifts serve you, most holy God. May the strength, compassion, and peace of Christ accompany these gifts as they become resources for comfort, change, and hope in many shadowed places. Then may we see together the world of justice, peace, and beloved community that you, O oh God, so tirelessly toil for now and forever. Amen. And don't forget that um, during the fellowship time, you can meet with Alex and Marwin and, and learn, Marwin, more, learn more about the uh, Food Resource Bank. And um, also, um, we will be giving out the new books for the adult study for Advent. So. May, by the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will break upon us to give light to those who sit in the shadows and in the shadow of death and guide our feet into the way of peace. This is the promise of God. It is true and it can be trusted. So go in joy and peace and all the people of God say, 
Amen. And it is well with my soul, number 377 in the red hymnal, and the words will also be up on the screen. <laughs> 